When factories went to ball and socket exhaust connectors, it made things a lot easier to get a leak-proof seal in your exhaust, but they're not perfect. There's still some problems that are inherent to this design. Now, I'm here with Robert Ahern from Stage 8, and you've actually got a really interesting fastener solution here that's going to make these connections even more secure, right? Yes, we do. We've been making locking header bolts for over 30 years now, and the next logical extension was the ball and socket system. So, like our header bolts, we put a groove in the top of the bolt, the bolt gets torqued down, you put a locking retainer on the top which goes against the tube, and of course a clip in it to keep that from falling off, but we added one extra piece of hardware. This is called a threaded tab. The beauty of the threaded tab, it goes on the back, it'll flip around and hit the tube on the back so you only have to wrench one side, and then you'll see after it's installed, the threaded tube can only, or the threaded tab can only tighten itself, and the bolt cannot counter rotate because the retainer's up against the tube. Now, a lot of guys trying to get a good connection on this, they can actually over torque conventional fasteners. You don't have to do that with this. No, you don't have to do that with this. A good quality ball and socket system like a Cooks, you won't be able to bend these flanges. But a lot of the lower end ones with the more affordable ones, I guess you should say, you got to be careful about the over torque. Once you bend these flanges, now you're in a world of hurt. Now, a lot of times when you're working on something on the car like a transmission or any of the underbody work, you've got to take the exhaust off and then put it back on when you're done. Does this help any with the disassembly and reassembly? Well, it does a little bit. Sometimes these fasteners are hard to get to, and the fact that you only have to wrench one side because of the welded tab can be helpful. The other thing you'll notice about these is we actually chose a grade 5 material for these bolts. The reason is there's so much vibration here that a grade 8 will actually crack on you where a grade 5 will not. We've coated the grade 5 bolts with a clear zinc to prevent corrosion. So like our header bolts, we recommend you slather these with anti-seize. Once again, we're not reliant on the friction to keep it tight. We're using an active mechanical locking system. So now, if people want to find out more information about your complete line of fasteners, where can they go online? They can go online to our website at www.stage8.com. That's S-T-A-G-E, the number 8.com. I'm Paul Husinga. This is the 2015 SEMA Show. Stay here all week. we got a ton more stuff coming at you.